At the edge of the Sigma Star Cluster, the space is filled with the glow of green flashes. The silvery border station, Avansol 25, faces a multitude of black starships. Their origin is unknown, but their destructive fury is immense. Some of the frigates docked at the station open their airlocks and engage the mysterious enemy. Without success, Avansol 25 is under heavy fire. Our shield systems can't withstand the bombardment for more than a few minutes. Were you able to scan the ships? They don't match any design known to our databases. Send a message to High Command. No hyperspace connections. The remaining stations are reporting similar incidents. 40, 50, there are over 130. 1300 ships! Captain, you need to return to the Asha. We're about to blow up here. Bring the entire crew to my ship! That might give us a chance! Initiate station evacuation. I repeat, evacuation. All crew members of Avanzo 25 proceed immediately to the CSS Asha. Docking ramp 4. I repeat, proceed immediately to the CSS Asha. Docking ramp 4. See you on the bridge, Commander. I need to get back to my ship. If more of them come, there won't be much left. Good to have you back, Captain. The station's structural integrity will break in a few minutes. Are all crew members of Iron Soul 25 on board? We're still missing 50. How long can we wait? Not a second longer, sir. Then... Release the docking ramp. Sir. That was an order, Commander. Releasing docking ramp. Programming a course towards the daily. Maximum speed. Sir. There are no other ships to accommodate the crew. Just get us into hyperspace already! Powering up systems for the jump! In the light of the slowly rising sun over the planet Eorgard, the silver skyscrapers of the metropolis Dinas Arcasnia glisten. Thousands of gliders traverse the crowded paths between the towering buildings of the city. So, just to recap, Senator, you oppose the regulation of planetary financial institutions because you believe that a sole monopoly of the Imperial Central Bank could hinder the free development of the frontier worlds. And the agricultural worlds, of course, especially those that are not technologically advanced. We can never fully integrate smaller colonies that have chosen to maintain a lifestyle prior to the second industrial conversion into the central economic system of the Empire. They simply lack the economic power. I see, Senator. I understand. Well, that would be all. Thank you for the interview. I thank you, Miss Gwenthurt. My editorial team will be in touch with you in a few days. Perhaps we can get the article in the Saturday edition. That would be most gratifying. Have a nice day. <sighs> These senators are always such bone-dry bores. No wonder the officers make fun of their stiffness. Oh well. It's okay to Gwen and Hart. Part of the Yadari editorial system. I have a few questions. How? Who are you? Don't reporters usually ask the questions? Norris Kammer, E.D. E.D.? Um, I being shattered by the intelligence agency now? <laughs> That'll be too much effort. So I intercepted you here to directly clarify the questions. Yeah, are we so direct? Is the badge real? I would advise against questioning that. My superiors wouldn't appreciate it. I assume so. Okay. What does an agent of the EET want? Oh, how exciting. Just a few questions. You interviewed Senator Rogart, is that right? That is correct. We would like a recording of the interview, ASAP. We... I... Is that new? What? Well, intercepting reporters directly. And personally, no less. It's called press censorship, Mr. Agent. It's called a precautionary measure, Miss Reporter. 
It'd be sufficient for you to send a copy to the following address, which will appear in your message folder shortly. What a tr- Ah, there it is. I will write about this. You can't stop me. I will report on what the EED is up to here. You couldn't care less, Miss Gwendolyn Hart. Have a nice day. The interview should arrive shortly. Miss Gwendolyn Hart was remarkably cooperative. I'm sure you played your unbeatable charm, E14. Hardly anyone can do without it. You must return to headquarters immediately. Sir, why the hurry? There has been an incident. An incident? This connection isn't secure. The High Command demands that we don't discuss this matter over long-range communication. I expect you in Sector 1 in 30 minutes. Are there any more reports of these attacks? Seven in total so far. Two stations have already been destroyed. Your ship was at Avatar 25. There aren't many survivors. None of the captains have been able to provide us with a comprehensive picture of the situation. We were there only briefly, but it seemed like an armada attacking the border station. We had no choice. If we had attempted to engage in combat, our ship would have been destroyed. How much data were you able to gather? We managed to scan some of the hostile forces. The Emperor has not made the attack public. We don't want to cause a panic. The strikes have been going on for ten hours now, and so far we have no confidential information. Any ship attempting to escape is intercepted within a matter of minutes. You are the only ones who have made it out of the danger zone. The only ones so far? We can't wait any longer and hope for more survivors. Fly to your guard as fast as possible. We need to organize our defense. Understood, Marshal. E1, sir. Senate A14. Why the urgency? There has been an enemy assault. Where? Have the Melvillanians attempted another invasion yet? No. At 2 a.m. your guardian time, an unknown armada destroyed the border station Avensol 25. Six more stations followed. We are facing an attack from an unknown enemy. How much information do we have? The High Command is frantically organizing the defense. They want to deploy an emergency fleet of three legions and try to stop the assault until we have more information. How does the High Command plan to involve the EED in this? We are already fully involved, E-14. But first, we need the approval of the Ministry of the Interior. We also need to prevent the media from catching wind of this. Section 1 is already working on it. Right. And what will be my role in this? According to the reports, a ship has survived the attacks on the Sigma border stations. The CSS Asha will arrive here in the capital world in four days. Make sure the captain doesn't blab right away. If the media starts broadcasting, it will be too late anyway. But we need someone to remind Captain Palan throughout the urgency of his silence by any means necessary. Hmm. Why a free reign? I like that. My command doesn't need to know about that. But the stability of the Star Empire depends on this small yet crucial variable. Then we should leave anything to chance. E-14. I'm not yet fully aware of the significance of these incidents. But from the whispers of the generals here, this is not just a raid by reckless pirates. Everything here is shrouded in secrecy. The threat is greater than anyone within the Star Empire could imagine. How do you- Intuition, E-14. I have been around long enough to sense when someone is amiss. I understand, E-1.
amidst the monumental buildings of Dina Sarkasnia, the Blue Tower, the headquarters of the Realm Guard High Command, rises like a sword's blade into the grey clouded sky. Rain pelts the extended platform on the 71st floor as Commander Palanther Farius's shuttle approaches. As the boarding hatch opens and the officer steps onto the platform, he is greeted by the sight of two members of the EED, one dressed in grey uniform and the other in red and black. Commander Palafor for us. That's correct. I didn't expect a welcoming committee. Do you really need two menacing bodyguards to confront me? As I say, expect the unexpected. Unfortunately, I regret to inform you that we're not here on positive occasion, Commander Palafor for us. Captain of the CSS Oisha. You're under arrest for neglecting your duty and violating your sacred oath as officer of the Star Navy. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Yes, sir. I demand an explanation right now! You're willing a battlement of 50 members of the Avon Soul 25 border station. The trial will take place tomorrow. Stay still, dammit! Please, Commander. You'd only make things harder for us, and you don't want to experience the unpleasant sight of the AED. The border station was beyond saving! I only did everything to protect my crew! Please explain that to Marshal Palanthor and the Committee of Marshal to Law. I'm only here for the dirty work. No one will get away with this! Where shall we take him, sir? The High Command has a nice prison wing in the tower. Take him there. Understood. are baseless, sir. We can prove that further evacuation of the station would have led to the destruction of our ship. We all saw it. There were thousands of ships. Is there any information about the Star Navy's counterattack? I only know that they are assembling a fleet in the Cato system. Nearly a hundred ships. Admiral Finios is supposed to leave. A hundred ships will never be enough. Apparently the High Command thinks otherwise. They have not seen what we have seen. This counteroffense will cost us more losses than it will bring advantages. Then it must be called off. It's too late. They plan to launch a counter-strike tomorrow morning. <laughs> Who are they attacking? An unknown enemy with unknown strength and unknown technology? And unknown numbers. It's gonna be a suicide mission. The Lantern seems to be too ignorant to grasp that. He is scheduled to hold a press conference on the events at the Imperial Palace this afternoon. So information has been leaked? Apparently so. The planetary broadcasters of Allegius didn't quite have hired a news blackout. Now the High Command has to make a statement. Let me repeat this once again. There is no reason to be concerned about the attacks on the eastern border stations. It is suspected that some pirate groups have seized the opportunity to exploit our recent defeat at Rhodus, since the position got weakened. Is it possible that the Meltanians are behind these attacks? And if so, how does the Realm Guards plan to respond to this audacity? An attack by the Meltanians is ruled out. However, we do not yet have enough information to make clear statements in that regard. What statements then is the High Command willing to make? Can the Yard Wardian request an exclusive interview with you? No, they may not. But if, as you say, it was an attack by pirates, how is it possible that 31 stations were destroyed and without any specific data on the attackers? Well, the attackers assaulted the stations with ships of unknown design. Nothing is certain yet, but it appears that they were too well organized and militarily structured to be a simple group of space pirates. Their tactics are too sophisticated, their command structure clearly organized, and they have a specific goal in mind. So we can assume that an organized military force is behind this? Perhaps an interstellar power? Is that the essence of your no. statement, Marshal? No, it is not. I'm simply saying that someone must be behind these attacks who is very knowledgeable about warfare. Someone who knew how our defenses are organized. Someone who knew how to identify and exploit our weaknesses. We are dealing with an adversary who seems to know how to conduct 
large-scale space warfare. On what scale, then? Are you suggesting it's the Meltanians? No. We can assume that the Meltanian Alliance is only indirectly connected to these incidents. Indirectly? So there is some connection after all? I'm ending this press conference. Now. Marshal! Marshal! Palantir! I... we have more questions! Marshal! I can't help but suspect they're hiding something from all of us. The shadow of ignorance hangs over the Emperor. Chancellor Alfred knew just as little as he did. How about his captain? Commander Palafor? I have a feeling that this commander has more useful information than our government does. Should be our duty to gather that information. It is unlikely that the Realm God will grant us access to him for the trial. They will intercept him after the hearing E14. Regardless of the voting. What about the authorization from the High Command? We don't need any authorization, E14. Were there any changes made to the Blue Tower security protocols in the last two months? No. But just for the sake of political popularity, I should remind you once again of the urgency of this mission. In these times of uncertainty, trust is a precious commodity.